So today I thought I would pop out um, and have a nice little walk up this glen which is the next glen over from one which is featured in a couple of my videos before. Um, and I've been meaning to visit this glen actually because um, I've seen a lot of photography from this area, particularly from Alex and I'll go and check out Alex's channel by the way. Um, Alex is one of my favourite photographers and he's done quite a, quite a lot of work up here. It's in, in, in this particular area of the Kulin Forest. So I've been meaning to come and explore up here and actually, to be honest, this morning I had quite a busy morning of DIY so I didn't get off um, on my walk until quite late. So I don't really know how far I'm going to get this afternoon before I have to turn back again. But it's an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. We've had a kind of weird day today of mixed sunshine and very heavy snow showers which could actually lend itself to some really nice photography. It's supposed to be clearing up a bit towards sunset. Um, we've got some nice gaps in the clouds at the moment, as you can probably see above my head. Um, and if we still get the odd sort of shower coming down, particularly if it's a snow shower, that could lead to some really nice photographic conditions. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. But as I say, I don't really know how far I'm gonna get, so I'm just gonna see, but we've got some absolutely gorgeous mountains around us up here and um, I'm sure there's going to be some opportunities for photography. The other thing is I've come to this boffy. Um, I won't be staying here today, um, but it's actually quite a well-known boffy for those of you who have the uh, Scottish boffy Bible book, which is a guide to the mountain boffies in Scotland. This one, this is the one that's on the front cover. Um, it's quite famous because it's got this little, uh, little window above the door there. Um, and maybe that's a video which I'll do in the future is, is staying in a boffy. Maybe not this one because it is quite close to, to where I live. Um, but um, yeah, I've stayed in boffies before. Actually, the only boffy I've stayed in before is the one up uh, near Sandwood Bay um, in Cape Ruff, um, which I've stayed in a couple of times. Um, but it's it's always quite a spooky experience I think staying in Boffies so um, I'm, I, I'm, I've got to admit I kind of prefer tents um, but maybe I'll do a video in the future of staying in a Boffie at some point but I thought I'd just show you um, this Boffie here now it's um, a good place to stop and have a cup of coffee and a, and a quick sandwich so um, but yeah I'm going to continue on my walk and fingers crossed we'll get some nice conditions later on for some photography. Well, the weather's throwing everything at me today. I'm having heavy snow showers, beautiful sunshine, um, and it is gorgeous. Um, I've actually started heading up the side of the glen. I'm heading up towards Bilac, which I know is up here. Um, it's getting quite late now, so you can see the sun's starting to get a bit low. So I actually don't know if I'm gonna make it to the Bilac in time for, for sunset, but we'll see how far I get. And to be honest, I don't really mind. Um, there's some absolutely stunning views up there. I do know that much, so if I can get there, then that would be brilliant. But if not, there's certainly no shortage of things to photograph here. It's absolutely stunning. So um, we've got these nice broken skies with nice bits of blue. So hopefully as the evening progresses, we might get a little bit of color in the sky. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Well, in case you're wondering what I've been hiking up here for, this is what I've been hiking up Oh my word. It is utterly, utterly stunning. So it's, it's really quite windy, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me too well, but oh, it's just so, so, so stunning here. I was sort of debating when I was coming up the, the, the hill towards the Bielak whether it was really worth continuing. I knew there was a good view up here because I've seen images from here before, but um, I was just thinking, oh, is it getting too late? Am I pushing it? Um, I'm so, so pleased that I just pushed that last little bit and came up here because it's utterly utterly stunning here absolutely amazing i've taken a few images um i've done some close-up shots with the sun rays coming down across the field that's been damp over there um so i've taken a couple of 
uh, images just of the sun rays coming down the other side of it and um, I've also done a big panoramic as well um, but I'm getting quite cold now my hands are, are not doing too good they're pretty cold so I think what I'm going to do is pack up the camera and start heading back before it gets too dark so I can still see my way back down but um, oh, definitely definitely worth the hike up here so so good and I'm also pleased I managed to get up here in a bit of snow as well I thought we probably had the last of the snow a few weeks ago when we had a bit of a heat wave going on I thought we probably wouldn't get much more snow but um, we've just had this little flow these last couple of days and yeah definitely worth getting up here Well, the light's starting to fade now and I've still got quite a long walk back to the car. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I've got a head torch with me if I need it as well, with spare batteries too, just in case. Um, so, yeah, but I thought before the light drops too much I'll end this video here. But my word, yeah, I'm, I'm still buzzing after that to be honest. It was absolutely, absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see the images. I think I managed to take some quite nice ones so um anyway i hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride and uh you know if you ever wonder why we sometimes put ourselves through this to get up to these mountains at the right time and then hike back in the dark you know that's why honestly i'm really buzzing after that really really buzzing it's such a great experience and you know this is the kind of thing that i do landscape photography for absolutely amazing anyway thank you so much for watching this video uh, please leave some comments below um, let me know what you think of the images um, and uh, I'll see you in the next one take care